Karolina Fajnawa and I did July Nail Pro cover. And this is Stephanie Lavery for Behind the Nail Pros. Paulina, it was so great having you back here again. The nails you did were absolutely gorgeous and they were sort of inspired by Dolce & Gabbana. Yes, exactly. The um, new campaign of Dolce Gabbana is black, uh, red and gold. And I have seen a beautiful sunglasses and those embellishments, those charms and Swarovski, they are all on these glasses. We want to make July cover, so uh, our inspiration was su summer in Saint-Tropez. A beautiful, young, rich Russian girl with uh, no limits. Absolutely, and these nails have no limits. They're super long and super embellished. Yes, I want to make something with really big wow effect. Really glamorous and uh, eye-catcher. A real eye-catcher. That's why they are long and really pointy. These are stiletto nails, not almond nails. Tell us the difference, because I think a lot of people get confused. Yes, I uh, see often, uh, especially here in USA, that the people doesn't understand uh, which shape is stiletto and which shape is almond. Almond nails have a curves, and they are never so long as stiletto. Stiletto is really pointy, and the sides are really, really straight. For the last cover you did with us, you used acrylic, so this time you decided to use gel. How did you begin? I um, put two forms together. I want to make the uh, nails really long. And I uh, sculpt, sculpt the nail with um, clear gel. I file it and uh, I finish it with a black hard gel and a lot of gold glitter. When you're using gels to create nails this long, how do you apply it? To make stilettos uh, in this land, of course, it will be more easy to use acrylic, but I want to make a challenge for me. So that's why I, I decide I use the gel. And um, I use two different um, kinds of gel. I use a thick gel and thin gel. Every thin gel is really hard gel, so it's perfect to make a shape, to make a ba by basic uh, layer on the nail. And the thick gel, it's really elastic. So when I build all the nail in this length from the thick gel, you will, uh, the nail will be moving. I cannot file it. So you applied it in different layers, like a sandwich. So I have a thin gel in the, uh, as a base, thick gel in the middle, and I finish it with a thin gel, like a sandwich. When you are filing nails that are this long and this pointy, how do you make sure that you don't break them? Yes, it can be really painful when you don't hold it um, good for the model, for the, for the woman, for the hand. So I support um, all length of the nail with um, my hands. It's not easy to file, but the most important thing for us um, as nail techs, nail professional, is not to hurt the natural nail. After you finished filing, what did you do next? After I file the shape, uh, I put, uh, I apply a black gel as a full cover, and I use a little bit champagne gel and pure glitter in gold to give uh, give the nails a little bit light, a little bit glamour. When you're curing nails at this length, do you have to be careful that the whole nail can fit into the light? When you use a really small lamp, of course, some girls um, hitting the top of the nail on the wall. And um, I have a nice model. She take care. After the glitter, you applied a top coat, but it wasn't a shiny top coat. Uh, our plan was to make a na whole nail art from Swarovski's and a lot of um, gold elements. The most important thing on the nails are the st stones. That's why I use a um, matte top coat to make a focus on those old stones. A lot of U.S. nail technicians have a difficult time applying embellishments and getting them to stay on their clients. How do you apply your stones so they don't fall off? The biggest problem is that, that uh, gel or acrylic doesn't connect with the metal. And those old stones and charms, nail charms, are, are from metal. So I use the acrylic to make something like a base or like a mold. I uh, put the charm or stone 
on the small acrylic ball. I wait a little bit till it's dry, not exactly, not 100% dry. I take the sham out of the acrylic and then I put a nail glue inside of the acrylic base and then I put the sham back in and believe me, you never lose it. Well, thank you again, Paulina, for being here. Again, these nails are so gorgeous. They're so long, they're so sharp, they're so luxe and gold and red. All of the inspiration points that you want to touch on are there. And I think that everyone's gonna really love this cover. So thank you for coming and doing them again for us. To work with you, it's a big pleasure for me. And this is like a holiday because the Nail Pro had always the best team ever, ever. Thank you very much.